I'm Michael Klopf. Uh, I'm here in the control room at the Elba Linear Accelerator. We have uh, a lot of different secondary sources. I work with the free electron laser in particular. After undergraduate, uh, after my bachelor's, I worked at a uh, synchrotron, at a synchrotron named CAMD, CAMD in Louisiana, where I grew up. I grew up in Louisiana in, in the U.S. Um, and I worked there for, for, for many years uh, after my bachelor. And this was shortly after the machine had just been commissioned. So it was very early in the, in the timeline of, of that facility, which for me was a great learning experience. It's really exciting and, and fun, especially working with users coming from a lot of different backgrounds, condensed matter physics. We're starting to work with people doing biology and chemistry type measurements. One word to describe my, my work, it's very diverse. It's very diverse, which to me is very interesting. Um, and, and working with students is really, is really fun and rewarding. You, you learn a lot from students. They bring a lot of new ideas and new questions, make you think about things more carefully. We're here now in the, the what we call it, the, it's one of our FEL labs. And in particular, this is uh, our diagnostic table. So on this side of the wall here is the, are our two FELs, infrared and terahertz FELs. Uh, we laser on a range from 5 to 250 microns. So this is the mid-infrared and the terahertz range. So two FELs, they come in in two places. One come, they, they come underneath the wall because, of course, we need the shielding. And they come underneath the wall and then up into the, this optical transport and into this diagnostic table. And in the diagnostic table, we have all the instrumentation we need to characterize the FEL. Uh, so we can set the machine up for what the users need. And then when the machine is set up, then we can send the beam into a pipe here, into this, this optical transport that sends out into a whole bunch of different FEL labs. Hello, my name is Maximilian Obst and I'm a user um, of Felbert H30R. Um, my field of research are the near field optics and more precisely um, we are researching um, the canalization and confinement of terahertz light in 2D materials using phonon polaritons. And we are doing that by doing SNOM, so scanning near field optical microscopy. The free electron laser Felber, which we have access here um, to here, is a really nice source for SNOM experiments. So first of all, it has a high tunability over the whole terahertz range, which is amazing because we can go to specific resonances and materials, have a look at the features there, and then go away and see how they vanish. Second, it's its narrow band. A narrow band means that we have much higher visibility of the phonon polaritons we're researching than we would get, for example, in a synchrotron experiment. And third, it has a high repetition rate, which is important for SNOM. But of course, working with the L is not that easy. So um, first of all, we have when we have the beam time, a lot of working hours. Um, and especially for myself and my co-workers, since we are students without families, we are often assigned for the night shifts. So we have to get into that, uh, shifting our biorhythm around, trying to stay awake, drinking a lot of coffee and black tea. But it's worth it in the end, you get really unique and amazing results. We have a saying here, the machine is alive. So it's not like a tabletop laser where you just turn key, switch it on, and it's always the same. Now, here you have to see every day what you get. So every day the laser behaves a bit different. And um, so sometimes you have really amazing signal and can measure interesting stuff with really high resolution and um, high visibility and sometimes you only see noise. I can for example remember um, during my actual first shift here, which was of course a night shift, um, yeah we got in here and tried for 10 hours to measure to stabilize our signal, um, high integration times and so on, but we left um, having seen nothing but noise. Well, um, that can happen but since then I had a lot of really good experiences and got a lot of amazing results using our setup here.